All right, we are doing Google Code Jam round 1A. Uh, so this problem, what's going on? Uh, we have this string, and we can pick whether to double each letter or just leave it alone. And we want to find the uh, smallest string that we can make in that way. So I guess here, well, we actually probably don't want to double the H. Sure, we want to double the E's because they're small. Uh, so test set one is up to 10, test set two is up to 100. Test set one, we could just try you know, all two of the 10 possibilities. Test set two, we can't try all two of the 100 possibilities. We do something smarter. Uh, so I think we just double a letter if it's smaller than the thing that comes after it. So the tricky case here is ties. Uh, Okay, so the last letter, I think we never want to double. Is that right? I think that is right. Yeah, okay. Uh, so... Break, break. I think it's just that. That was not good. Uh, I think it's because addition is not working in the way that, you know, I would have hoped. Let's do this instead. Cool. For uh, the C's, the D's, the E's, not the J, and A gets doubled, and the other A gets doubled. Okay. Well, it gets the sample right, so hopefully it is correct. Uh, so yeah, we look for the next character. Uh, if the next character is bigger, then we want to double ourselves because, like, you know, E E comes before F. Uh, if the next character is smaller, then we don't want to double, and you know, if the next character is equal, then continue. Keep looking. So this uh, has like n squared one time, which is fine because n is like a hundred. Uh, so we passed test set one. We don't get to know if we passed test set two, but you know, hopefully we did. I'm not worried about you know being slow or anything. Uh, so it's just a matter of correctness. And if it was correct on test set one, it's probably correct on test set two. Interactive problem. Interesting. We have a set of distinct integers. Ah, subset sum. <laughs> okay. Uh, we get to pick the integers. Ah. Interesting. Okay, so I get to pick n integers, and then they pick n integers, and then I have to partition them into two subsets. Hmm. So they give me n, n is 100. Uh, I output a bunch of integers between 1 and billion. They give me a bunch more integers, and then I output one of the subsets. Uh, and the sum is guaranteed even. Sure. 
Okay. Uh, can I just, like, do powers of two or something? Well, I mean, there aren't a hundred powers of two. Oh, you know, less than a billion, that's one issue. Uh... But if I just choose like one do a hundred, that's not so good. I mean, so right. So what I would like to do is, you know, be able to do something like greedy for the last phase. Yeah, neat problem. Points. Is this actually easier than this problem? Sort of, apparently. Well, I'll keep thinking about this, because it seems cool. Uh... Greedy. Yeah, so like, the point of doing powers of two uh, would be that you can get... Maybe I just want powers of two and a bunch of small numbers. Uh, and then I can take a bunch of small numbers and form the difference out of powers of two. That'll work as long as the sum is not too small. Which... Can it be? No, can't, because I can just pick big powers of two. Okay, so I think this works... Probably... Mm. Like, what if they just pick a bunch of big numbers? I don't know, I think this works. So, you read in T, and then N, and then N out our numbers, and then... Uh, oh, right, okay, and actually, it's not even like we need half the numbers. Uh, it can just be any subset. That's easy, then. I think that's easy. Uh, yeah, for some reason I thought it had to be exactly n numbers, which may also be possible. Anyway, not required, so that helps. Uh,
Okay. Uh, so now we can form it out of how is it two? I think that's it. So, yeah, powers of two, bunch of small numbers. Not sure that part actually matters. Uh, and then just greedily take the biggest numbers until we're under a billion, and then use powers of two to fill it off. There's no, it's like we need some interactive stuff. So we want the runner and then the judge. This has instructions, but Why is this not smaller? I don't know. Because oh. I messed up that ordering. Okay, so it looks like it passes whatever this is. Not sure how good these test cases are, but I am going to try it. 
because I think it makes sense and it, you know, passes that. Is it visible? Yeah, cool. So they actually tell me if I got it right or not. Uh, yeah, looks good. So yeah, key key insight I guess is powers of two, because uh, with you know all the powers of two up to a billion, you can make any number between one and a billion. Uh, by you know just writing the number in binary, uh, and then wait. So we want like half the sum. The sum could be bigger than a billion. It can be up to like a hundred billion, right? Because we have two hundred billion, I guess. We have two hundred numbers each up to a billion. Um, so we just greedily take the biggest numbers until it's down under a billion, uh, not taking any of the powers of two, and then we can use the powers of two to make up the rest. Uh, and you know this is guaranteed to work, I guess, because the overall sum. Uh, you know, the overall sum is twice the target, so we can definitely pick numbers to get the target down under a billion. Uh, and yeah, then we can just write, in, write the remaining number in binary to finish it off. Uh, 